Okay guys and welcome back to another video. Now we're going to get into this one pretty quickly with the beaver. As you can see there at 24 million XP. It took me quite a long time at about 40,000 redwoods. But it was just the skill and pet that I sort of most wanted and thought you know it's worth the grind. So I'm just going to go for it. Now obviously the main point of this video is just going to be a big overview of myself sort of. 45 episodes in which is about a year in real time as the first video I uploaded was on the 1st of January 2023. Now up first I'm going to give sort of an overview of Gim the Rev. Now he is sort of the least um, productive of our of our members unfortunately. Uh, he is much more of an RS3 player and the Iron Man was more just something for him to you know maybe get into who knows but sort of within a year uh, he's done you know about 200 levels in total uh, i did help him out by doing a bunch of those a bunch of quests and things like that but it's just he's just not really returned yet you know we all know what it's like with these sorts of games it's one where we come back to it as and when we uh, well as and when we want nobody ever really quits runescape they just take extended breaks as we like to say up next is my other team member gim gumption um, in the last year, he's made quite a substantial increase. He's done three, nearly 300 total levels. Not so many clues. He has been getting into the hards recently. So, you know, that's not too bad. But for about 40 clues or so. But some big levels in there, you know, getting 99 attack, um, 97 hit points, a bunch of levels for his Slayer, all the requirements for Song of the Elves, which he has now completed. So he can start running some Gauntlet with me. Hopefully we'll pick up some nice early drops on that. But just overall bought his account right up to sort of the maximum levels he would need for any quests. So that's making a big impact on his ability to sort of play the game and do a bunch more content. We are looking in the near future to try and maybe do some DKs, maybe some TOAs, something like that. You know, doing any form of raiding is completely new to the both of us and that will be something that we, we do want to do. It's just going to take a little bit longer than maybe we would have hoped it was going to, just because of real life commitments, uh, shall I say. But other than that, his account has, has made quite a lot of progression. Obviously, I have passed over quite a lot of excess materials I have uh, for things like smithing and herb law, as well as crafting. So anything I've sort of passed over, uh, he has been putting to use. I can see, you know, the 97 farming in there. He has been getting most of my hardwood saplings. So hopefully they are helping him out a little bit. Myself, in the last year, I feel like I've done a lot, but the total levels aren't really showing uh, that, unfortunately. Uh, I've managed to gain, get up to 2194. I was trying to push to 2200 this video, but unfortunately it just did not quite happen. Number of 99s, including attack strength, uh, hit points, mining, smithing, cooking, wood, no, wood cutting was in there, but I think it was the second one. Farming, uh, crafting, thieving, basically most of my 99s, <laughs> uh, apart from fire making and good old wood cutting yeah you know i can't uh can't complain i didn't actually mind the wood cutting grind as much as many people may think uh, you can see on the side of the screen there 216 days which does work out to about 5200 hours uh combat tasks i've completed nearly all of the medium now i think i've got two left and they're dk selected so i've sort of waited until we go there all together achievement diaries i think i've got three or four uh, elites left it's just getting those level requirements like under 91 uh rune crafting for karamja so i will i will get those hopefully you know by the time i do the next one of these updates but overall i think the account has made some big progress you can see there you know over 500 clues completed in in the last year uh the majority of those being in hards and so you know the hard elite and uh, master level so it's it's been a, a big year for sort of gains but it doesn't look as many in terms of the total level uh, we haven't really sort of moved anywhere in terms of rankings we're not really looking to and obviously since i made us lose our status by doing the mass world next and um, we're not really going for any form of high scores and it was more just something for fun but i definitely feel like i've made a big impact this year getting many many many, many 99s and obviously making sure to get a few more banked. 
so we can move on to the bank. My bank is at 645 mil uh, all in all, so a nice 23 mil cash stack. Uh, but yeah, you know, pretty healthy. We're getting in there with the gear. The main downfall we have is range, which is why I said in the last episode I made the Zenite necklace just to give us a little bit of something for range to pass on a few rings and just general Slayer related items in there for combat. My standard rune and food tab. I uh, definitely haven't got through those crab ones yet and all those runes from the Guardian of the Rift pull. The tab I'm probably the most proud of is the Herblore tab. As you can see, there are nearly 2,000 Herblore pots from when I last did a bunch of Herblore. Uh, I have stacked up quite a few ranging pots and I will be looking to hopefully go and get some wines of Zami for that. But 153 mil total with just that. That makes my uh, <laughs> supplies tab here for, for various skills seem low in comparison at only 95 mil. Uh, I am in the process of using up most of my logs. Uh, I'm using up a bunch of my maples to do fletching and then we'll move on to making redwood shields just to finish it off. As obviously I've got an abundance of them now. This is sort of my loot tab. Um, any spare clue scroll drops or duplicates of certain things. I've been stacking up in here various ammo types, including chin chompers, different jewelry pieces, and then just general alcohols and things like that. I just like to keep them all, why not? And then when I do a big agility grind, I'll get those out. My uh, skill capes, obviously all in order of completion, skilling outfits, various excess barrows items, which I will be making a video, hopefully in the next few episodes, of getting another 500kc. And then everybody's favourite, the big old junk tab at the end that just has a bunch of stuff in there that is kind of useful, but not massively. So overall, the accounts have made quite a lot of progression, so I'm not worried at all uh, about the next 15 episodes until I'm going to do this again. But it's it's certainly been a good year. I um, want to thank everybody before we get into the, the final section here. Uh, for all the support over the last year, have gained well uh, exponentially more than I had before. So um, really pleased lost. with it and really pleased with sort of the views that some of the videos get. I would like to sort of see what people's opinions are and see if, you know, maybe there's some people out there that want to drop a comment or something like that to tell me what they'd like to see, any bosses they want to know or just anything they, they want to know about my journey or our journey as a group. And uh, I'll be sure to try and answer any of those that, that come in. But yeah, no, enjoy these clues. Uh, I haven't seeming to get quite a lot of collection log slots this episode. It's it's rare that I seem to get as many as this, especially in those early ones with those beginners. I do want to try and green log that as soon as possible and get it all in the POH just because it's nice to have the green logs. Obviously, I've got the shared one done, but it's nice to get more and more done as these clues are progressing. Um, moving on to those hards, it's just adding to that alcohol tab, really managed to pull myself a second pair of Armadil Dehyde boots. These, these are the ones I currently use, so uh, they'll just be stored because I don't need them, but it's a nice million hard clue scrolls and nobody's going to complain at that. And then a 105 to finish it off just with the last collection log slot. Now, as always, it's moving on to the elites, which unfortunately are always very, very disappointing. I am going to attempt to do that master, but we'll wait and see for that for the next episode. But for now, that's going to be it for this episode. Until next time.